All right, folks, we're over here with more real training. Today, we're going to look at precast. So we had a question from my friend, Pratik. He's one of our subscribers here. And uh, he showed, he asked me, do I, what, do I know how to make a, a single T? And I said, a single T? It never really worked with one of those. But they do have them. And here's a shop ticket of one he gave me. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how you would make this a piece ticket. So I made a video a while back of how you uh, how we reinforced this one. So we did that one in, in one of my videos. I'll find it if I can for you anyway. But here, what happens here for the single T, what I would do for that, I would just go and I would select, let's say that one right there. And then I'm going to edit this family. Okay, so now I'm in there, and um, I think this is the one you got. I'm going to go to the left side here, where all my parameters are, and there's all my parameters set up. Now, your stem was kind of, let me see. Uh, I don't know the width of that. I do know the depth. And I know that. Okay, so now let's go back over here in the Revit now. And this is what I would do for this. With that family you had. I would... Uh, this is a sweep right here. So I just select it. And I'll edit the sweep. And then it gives me these options of want me to select it. So I select it. Then I'll edit the profile here. So now I'm here, and what I want to do here, I want to just remove one of these stems. All right. And then I'm going to take, okay, I'm all centered a little bit there. Interesting. Okay. Then I'm going to take this guy here and just move it over. I hope this works. I don't even know if this is going to work. And... I want to say finish and begin. Okay, so there's our single T. Now let's go into the 3D view. Okay, now things to remember here. Make sure you rename it. I'm just doing this for now because I'm not going to save it. So make sure you rename this thing. So then at this point, let me window tile these. Let me just do a. So now we're going to go in and just take this guy and load him into the project. So right now we're looking at double T's, right? So I'm going to load this back in. I'm going to override the existing version of parameter values because we changed parameters. I'm going to load that guy in. Rebars, okay, that's an issue there. Something's out of the host because we changed it. Okay. Because okay, so now there's our single T. And they're all single T's except for that one. So now the, the, the problem here is you got to really do this to make it flex good and everything. So let's see how wide yours is. Uh, let me check this shit away. It should have did that before. So let's see. Uh, your width is, in a second here, six and three, one and three quarters. Okay, so here we got an eight. Let's change this to six. Six. Go apply. Okay. Okay, now there's our six and three quarters. And that's what we want to do. Now let's load this one in there and see what happens. Load it to project.
Now, I have to sit down and really make a, a single double T because I didn't, I, I never used one before. I, I mean, that's the first time I ever heard of one, so now I've got one. So that's how you make it. Now, when you, now looking at your piece ticket here, you got many V's here, and you got some kind of lifting apparatus here. And I've got some of these families, so I'm going to run through these for you. I'll have these families for you if you need them. I'm going to go and I'm going to just, just, just do one. Uh, I'm going to go. Should have a MIDI V in here. There's my shim. MIDI V. Uh, okay. Whoops. There it is right there. So I'll put a mini, let's just let's, let's just work with this one for now. Let's just zoom in here. We got that guy. And I'm gonna just go and place it right there. And then this might be better to do this than I planned you. Uh let me see, I don't know. I, I don't remember this. It's been a while. Uh let me see if I ain't clean. I think that's it. Yeah. I don't see my mini V. <laughs> okay, it should be around the end. Uh, okay, I'm gonna do this in wireframe. You might see it. Okay, well let's just place it here. See what happens. It might be in the wrong category or anything, so I'm gonna place it here. Yeah, that's what's going on. It's not showing in this view. Okay. Let's see if I can place it. No. But what I'll do is we'll do this in 3D. What the heck? Just just show you how to make a. So we just go here and go copy. Let me see. What frame are you clicking for? I don't remember what level that was. I did this on. So I'm just gonna go here at five then. Four eleven, I guess. Should not do this. 411. So there you are, many bees in here. And then now what happens is you want to take this guy here and you want to make him an assembly along with these pieces. So I'll just go control, select these pieces. Oh, and I'll just go create assembly. And that's number two because number one is over there that we did in the prior video. Okay, now I want to edit my assembly here. And I want to add these pieces. So this is what happens. You, you go ahead, you add, you're going to add things afterward and then generate your piece ticket. So I just wanted to run you through this to show you how to make the single double T. I'm going to finish that. And there you go. So, hey, I uh, hope this helps. Um, thanks for watching my video. And everybody, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It helps me make videos like this every day. And thanks for your tea. Uh, it's nice meeting you and looking forward to training with you. Have a good one and bye. Be safe.